everyone. Welcome back to my 25 foot Bertram project. We're still in the dusty, heavy construction phase, working on the underside of the deck. Getting straight into it, I'm just putting a chamfer on the edges of the honeycomb there, and then I'm swiping some polyester bog on so I can lay some glass over the honeycomb and the deck um, so it bonds together better on that edge. This means I'll have to modify the panel that's going into this section. <laughs> I got my friend Pat helping me because these pieces were really long and I'm just going to pre-wet them on the table with polyester and then I'm going to beef up where Pat is fiberglassing there now or like down in that bit where it was a bit poofy. We do four pre-wetted sheets in one go just because it makes it a lot easier to get it down in that gully. It'd take a lot longer to wet it out with a brush trying to get it into that gully. So it's the next day. I think I put too much catalyst in it. It looks like it fizzed a lot. I don't know. What do you guys think? That looks pretty terrible to me. Let's see if I can scrape it off. It looks bad. I'm grinding it back. I, I chiseled it here. It didn't feel too bad. It didn't come off in sheets or anything, but I feel guilty. After I ground this back, um, uh, like I really struggled to get through it with the really aggressive disc. Uh, I might end up keeping it. I, might, I don't know, tell me what you guys reckon. I'll, I'll fix it if it breaks later down the track, which would be way harder. That doesn't sound good, does it? What do you guys reckon? That is ground there. I just used the uh, finger sander, but it hardly touches it. It's hard as rock. Maybe it's too resin rich, I don't know. If I'd gone that hard on the original section of the hull, it would have gone crazy. Here I'm just doing a dummy fit with all the layers so I get the, the order correct. So I've just laid all the mat out in order that I want to make it go in. It might change a little bit when I put it in, um, but I'm going to push it off there and then I'm going to just wet out one at a time so they all overlap and yada, yada, yada. I flop them out of the way in, in order so then I can easily put it back. I'm rubbing everything down with acetone here and I find a few little spots that I need to fix up so that's what I do here. I'm just using the finger sander. It is hot in Australia at the moment. Look at the sweat on my back.
Here I'm mixing a little bit of epoxy bog to put in all the little low spots and cracks and whatever. There's no cracks, but yeah, just to make it so it's got a nice smooth area. And um, here I'm putting the layer of epoxy resin over everywhere where I'm gonna put sheets of cloth. I pre-wet all the middle sheets because they're easy. I do try to pre-wet the other sheets as well, but it doesn't work out well. You'll see soon, but um, yeah, I'm gonna put some relief cuts to get into that weird bit there. This is a bit that doesn't work out so good for me. Um, the way it's cut makes it all shrink and crumple. I've spread it back out like you saw, but that's the uh, last time I try to do that on any of those sites, types of sheets. The two to one epoxy resin that I'm using at the moment is a little bit different to the five to one that I have been using. Um, it's like honey. It's a, it's a pain in the ass to get it wetted out, but it wasn't that bad. Easily doable. Laying the sheets out front made it a no thought process. I just made sure every time I put a piece down on one side, I'd do it on the other side and I'd just make sure everything overlapped. Um, after the dummy fit, I knew how everything should go. Now I'm putting on the peel ply. I just do it in small sections. It makes it easier to put on because it doesn't like doing the curves. Easy to rip off as well. All right, so that's four layers. Well, it's actually more than that because most of it's overlapped. So it's more like eight layers or something in sections like there and yeah, like in that corner bit. Lots of layers thick. <laughs> I'm definitely happy with that. Epoxy resin, I had to, I could only get two to one because they've run out of um, the um, five to one. There's some chemical that COVID is affecting. So I'm using this stuff and um, I've got, I, I bought a whole bunch more of, of um, mixing cups and I went to the two to one, which is there. And, and then I was, putting it on the highest, I was getting it up to here and I was thinking, man, that's really, um, doesn't look like two to one. And then I looked at the milliliters on the side and and the base was 300 and it was 50 mil out. So um, not real happy with that. How hard is it to make a good bloody cup? I just put the right writing on it. So hopefully tomorrow this will be hard. If this doesn't go off, I will cry. <laughs> Cause that took about three or four hours. Yeah, that's all peel ply. So I'm just doing a test. Um, I wanna not have like a solid pipe going for all of the electrical. I've, I've got this so I can put my wires and my plumbing through it. But um, I'm just using polyester at the moment and I've just done three layers of 600 gram triaxle or whatever it is going through there, real skinny, but it still looks, it looks pretty crap. So I'm just want to see how the polyester sticks to it. If the polyester, if I can rip it off, I'll come up with something else. So they're dry and it is plenty hard. I am very happy with that. And I just cleaned it up with the die grinder. So I've got to do the rest of them now. Do something with this. I need to somehow blend this and that in so it looks like it's not a mullet job. I've made a basic shape. I'll blob two layers of glass there and then wait for it to harden and then crack this off and then glass it heavily from behind. I'll probably put a lot in this corner so then I can grind a lot away so I can shape it, you know? <laughs> Just, I don't know, like curve it that way and that way and then make it so it's got like a nice straight bit 
here and then I was going to, while it's easy, and then this is killing me and I've wasted more time thinking about it than what it would take for me to do it, is um, I'm going to like build the back of the dash like it, into a panel as well. This is kind of stuffing me up because this is a stupid angle. But anyway, I'm going to bring it out a little bit like that, bring it out on an angle because I want it to be as small as possible. And then, and then this bit, and, and then I'll like make a hatch here and I want to be able to get in to behind here and behind here uh, easily so I can do wires and this here is probably the only spot that I'm a bit worried there's not enough tabbing it's, it's maybe got 40 mil of all the areas on the dash that I'm expecting to crack I don't think it will but this th this and on the other side in the same area is what I'm worried about. I think um, it's the bodgiest. I don't think there's that many dresses on the dash on, on this area where the window is. I'm, I'm not gonna have a flybridge. If it is a flybridge, it'll be like a tower. The actuators, the actuators are gonna come here and then they'll be supported on the bulkhead, which is gonna be running through here and then fix to the floor and then on that side as well. I've got to get the deck in and figure out how to, to work out that. I'll figure it out when I get to it. And, and then I don't know what I'm doing here either because the the pillar, the, the actuator needs to be in here but it's going to be too big to fit here so I might have to build it out or have something that bolts to the side of it that goes to the side of the the boat of the the, the hull of the boat uh, yeah I've, I've got to figure that out as well <laughs> but now i'm just going to clean everything up with the grinder a bit there's some daggy bits in there and some other places and then I'm gonna put this in. I'll glass this pipe in. So I've got more ways of getting wire from one side of the boat to the other. I know with audio, if if you've got your RCAs running with power, it doesn't like that. It gets all noise sound, so. But I, I don't think putting this in, um, it's not going to be that much effort and it'll just make it look cleaner and give me another way of getting wires across.